Hi, I'm Chef Kevin and I'm here for FriedChickenOnline.com and today we're going to do the original FriedChickenOnline.com fried chicken recipe. It's really simple and just takes a few steps. Uh, first off right here, we're going to start off with 20 ounces of chicken tenderloins. On uh, the next bowl, we have a cup of unseasoned self-rising flour. Uh, this is going to be our egg wash right here. And in the bowl, we have three eggs, one third cup of water, a cup of your favorite hot sauce. I'm using Frank's Red Hot today. That's my particular favorite for this recipe. And we're just going to whisk this together. And it's a nice bright pink color when it comes together. And that is lovely. In our last bowl, this is two cups of self-rising flour. I'm going to season this with a tablespoon of black pepper and a tablespoon of salt. And we're just going to stir that together with a fork. And we're ready to bread some chicken. It's best to do this with a wet hand and a dry hand. Uh, dry hand's going to handle all your dry ingredients. Your wet hand's going to do your wet ingredients. So we take a chicken tenderloin. We're going to dredge it first. Shake off the excess. Then it goes right into our egg wash. And that dredge is going to give the egg wash something to stick to. Next going into the final breading, which is the self-seasoned self-rising flour. I'm just going to toss it around a little bit. Shake off the excess, and that one's ready to go. Now we're just going to do a couple of these real quick. Now we have four of them ready to go. And we'll go ahead and get these started. We have here in our uh, little deep fryer, um, it's about one third of the way full of vegetable oil. We have it set at 350 degrees. You can do this on the stove top, but if you're using a pot with oil in it, don't fill it up anywhere past halfway. And use a candy or frying thermometer in it so that you know that you have your oil no hotter than 375 at most. But you want to keep it around 350. We have our first batch of chicken in. We're going to keep going on these with our dry hand and our wet hand. And don't forget to stop by FriedChickenOnline.com. We have a bunch of money saving tips on there for you, some more recipes, some helpful hints on there. And you can find out more about me. And don't forget dry hand, wet hand. That'll keep your hands from getting too messy. Since you are handling poultry here, you want to be careful. And if you stop and do something else in the middle, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly, just for safety's sake. But as you see, this goes very quickly.
going to step away for just a second, wash my hands, and come back and these uh, chicken tenders will be ready to go just about another minute. All right, I have my hands washed now and looking at these chicken tenders and they look delicious. And they're going to be cooked relatively soon. They don't take very long at all. Uh, chicken on the bone takes a lot longer to cook than chicken tenders uh, just because there's more mass there to get heated all the way through. So this is a nice time saving. When you want to do something homemade and you're in the mood for fried chicken but you don't want to go to one of the fast food chains, this is definitely something you can do on a busy evening. It just doesn't take very long at all. We uh, are all about saving time and money here. Chicken is just about done. It's just getting three of the four pieces are floating, and when they are floating, they're pretty much done. Okay, as you can see the chicken is floating now. I'm just going to reach in and start pulling it out. That is a chicken tender that you could be proud to serve to anyone. This is restaurant quality food without the high prices. And we're going to repeat this for the rest of the batch. And uh, just wanted to remind you to stop by FriedChickenOnline.com where you can get this recipe and a lot of other recipes, plus all, all kinds of money-saving tips. And for FriedChickenOnline.com, I'm Chef Kevin. Thanks.